Hey you guys. It's a new day. Um, what's today? Saturday the 23rd, I believe. I am on my way to go to a pop-up shop. <clears throat> and then I think I just might do some like general running around with my mom. She wants to look for a carpet for her studio. Um so yeah, I just want to take you guys with me. This is the fit. Just a regular <laughs> navy blue socks, jeans, flash, gordon hat. So yep, that's what today is looking like. I'm on my knees because uh, the lighting is weird and I couldn't really see myself. But yeah, um, come with me. It'll be a good day. And this is sick of talking mother for the figures. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Oh, I finally made it. It's inside. I don't know why I thought it was outside. Um, so yeah, we at the It's a Vibe event pop up shop. It's cute. So let's go inside. Let me put my mask on. Um, 
skin is amazing. It's beautiful. <laughs> Sheesh. So our butter is in the oil. Okay. Take your phone hair and your skin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we have candles. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm a candle addict. Yeah. Get your phones out. Get closer to the front. Um, that was my last two. Oh my God. Oh and then after so our special guest week, we have our live entertainment, yeah. which we had been going on. Art Bomb by Shane. Y'all get her a hand. And a dope beer line, baby. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 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 Whatever part of your plan is event, I really, really thank you. Um, so I'm going to be introducing Erin Darden. She is a small business attorney. I'm going to let her do the rest because I don't want to share too much. I'm going to let her do her thing. Okay, so clap it up for Erin Darden. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Like Maya said, I am Erin Darden. By trade, I am a small business attorney. Um, so I help entrepreneurs like most of you start, grow, and protect your business the right way. Right? Being an entrepreneur is not just about making money. You want to make sure that you have everything in place so that you're setting yourself up for success. 
So with that, that means I help with business formation, contracts, and trademark registration, right? Start, grow, and protect your business the right way. Um, I'm proud of you for even having this idea and even taking the first steps to entrepreneurship. In addition to being an attorney, I have two businesses of my own. So I get it, it's not easy, but let me tell you that you cannot do this by yourself, right? You wanna make sure that you have the professionals around you and the support system that is going to lead to your success. So my two businesses, um, I am an emotional intelligence and relationship coach, and so I work with women to help them tap into vulnerability, um, unlearn toxic behaviors, and improve the relationship with themselves so that they can manifest the love that they deserve. Um, my latest venture is Noir Valley, and we are a wine education business. Um, so we create different experiences so that you can celebrate yourself while enjoying wine culture, right? So we started this business because me and my friends, we love wine, but when we go to the vineyard, not everybody looks like us. And so when we ask, people say they don't know about wine, they don't know what to pick, they don't know how to select. So that's why we really started this company so that we can help educate you so that you can take part of this culture. So that's all I have to say. I am here, my card is in each of the bags. Um, I will give you guys a free consultation um, if you email me and let me know that you were here. Hey! <laughs> um, my name is Star, aka Star J. Um, I am the CEO and the president of Nothing But The Arts Incorporated, which is a nonprofit organization for teens and young adults interested in the arts and media. Um, this is an organization I actually started on my college campus uh, back in 2018, and I decided to um, transition into a nonprofit in 2020 during the pandemic. Um, it was very hard startup, uh, very hard to start up as a business, actually. So I commend what everyone is doing out here. Um, the organization, we put on different workshops, uh, different events, network events. We have a videography workshop coming up next week. So if you're interested in learning the basics of videography, please sign up with us. Um, I'll be over here if you would like to talk to me. Uh, my second business is called, uh, it's just my brand, Star J. And what I do is I help creatives with personal development. So create, I define a creative as anybody that's doing anything, that's creating anything. So you could be a creator, a chef, um, an artist, a painter, whatever, you are a creator. So it doesn't matter what you do, you are a creator. You are creating something uniquely. Um, we all need that help with personal development and really helping with personal growth. Um, so that's a business that I'm getting into now and I'm also looking into getting into uh, life coaching. Hi everybody, I am Rayana and I am here with my team, my creative team, Paris and Sante. I'm the owner of District Lab. In case you guys heard of it or not, we are a creative flex space down in Oxon Hill, Maryland. Um, we host events and then we also do brand management and also uh, product photography. So. Um, thank you, Maya, for letting us come. And because of that, I love her so much. And she knows I'm a little introvert, so I'd be all nervous to speak to people. But thank you for the opportunity to come down here and introduce. So we will be um, offering two free hours of either content creation or even to your event, any of Maya's vendors. We came around to a couple tables, but we want to hit a few more. But if you do have your phones out, make sure you follow us at district.lab um, on Instagram. Shoot us an email and just let us know. You know you met us here and then what date you have in mind. It will be on the week. So yeah. We go, there we go. Can y'all hear me? Y'all good? Yeah. It's a lot of pressure, man. She said stop eating. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I would be eating like shit right now. <laughs> no, let me stop. Uh, so like she said, my name is Backpack Jeff. Okay, it's not Backpack Jack. It's not Backpack Joe. It's Backpack Jeff. <laughs> All right. There's F's on it. I'm just emphasizing the F's, okay? Um the, the, the reason why uh, I'm Backpack Jeff is essentially because I like to wear backpacks. Um, I don't be seeing too many backpack brands, and so I don't see nobody selling backpacks. You know what I'm saying? Y'all selling, selling backpacks? Okay, they sell backpacks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take um, But so, uh, I'm a poet, all right? I'm an uh, entrepreneur. I'm gonna talk about a little bit of that stuff later, but I'm gonna get right into it because I know that's what y'all came here for. Uh, how many people ever been to an open mic poetry event before? Yes, I love it. What do they tell you to do after the poem is over? Yeah, right, don't do that today though. <laughs> no, I don't like it, I hate it, in fact. No, for real, here's the thing. My scalp's gonna be sweating in like five minutes, I promise you, um, and I would hate for me to be up here enjoying myself having a good time and y'all not doing the same thing, okay? So, however that poem made you feel, when it's done, I want you to make that, I want you to make that much noise. If that's cool, say cool. cool. I love it. So. Uh, I do this, um, I be doing this all the time, so I'm a professional, you're not gonna mess me up, you can walk around and stuff like that. Um, also, while I'm performing, if you hear something you like, you can snap, let me hear y'all snap again. Yeah, you didn't lose it, I love it. Um, what's that sound that you make when you eat something real good? 
Right, so if I'm up here and I'm feeding you, I just want you to make that sound, okay? Uh, ladies, you can do your favorite joint starts with the Y, ends with an S, it's like... Yeah. <laughs> I get to hear that like six days a week, man. I swear to God, it's the best thing. And then fellas, man, I know y'all are too cool to even say that, man, so I'm not gonna expect y'all to say that. And I know y'all are probably too cool to even give a response sometimes, but y'all can just say yikes. Okay, all right, so I'm, okay, you know what I'm saying, brothers, here we go. So we're gonna start off like this. I like to warm up like this. I never thought that life in a deck of cards would be relatable. But my life has been shuffled and cut so many times, I'm beginning to see the correlation phase one. Love is like playing old maid, right? You go out into the world looking for a match, blindly choosing cards, you hope that you find the one person that matches so that y'all can lay down perfectly as the rest of the world plays on. God, please don't let me be like the old maid. The one card that nobody wants, destined to die alone with no possible matches, game over. Phase two, solitaire. I spent so much time in solitary confinement, trapped inside of my own mind, waiting for the validation of another person. But since I have learned to be alone and that I can enjoy and love myself just as much without the validation of another person to tell me that I'm worth the risk of possibly losing a one player game, phase three, go fish. I'd have people come to me and ask, hey Jeff, you got any time to waste? I mean, are you going out tonight? And I would tell them, no, go fish. I don't have any time wasting cards in my hand. I'm throwing out all my cards and giving this like everything that I've got until I'm empty handed. Phase four, I learned magic. I turned my negatives into a positive and made all of the toxic people in my life disappear. Yeah. Phase five, blackjack. 21, the number of times life has hit me and knocked me down, but I've gotten up 22. Text 22, life tried to hold me down and force me to believe that there is no possible way that I can make it back to my feet. But y'all, I refuse to stay down at the bottom and it's simply too overcrowded. Phase six, speed. See, not only do I have to be as smart as the next person, I also have to beat them to the spot because even in this game of life, speed kills. Phase seven, Texas Hold'em. I'm holding on to my dreams and I will not fold. I got my goals on the table and I'm going all in. I'm betting on myself. My poker face is laser focused. I will not be distracted by the lies and the deceit of life. I'm calling his bluff. Phase eight. I'm playing spades with God as my partner against the devil and adversity. And I gotta say y'all, I got five definites and three possibles in my hand. Five times devil, I'm definitely gonna win and three other times, there is no possible way that I will let you prevail. Phase nine, life tried to throw a wrench in my plan but simultaneously, I threw down my wrench too and said, I declare war, phase 10. Devil, this is the last time that I willingly let you back into my life. And if I had four cars left, they would play out I had to step outside because it is hot as hell in there. And they talking, so I came out here. And it looked like it's a snail or something attached to the building. I don't know. I'm scared to touch it. I don't know.
brand right here. Most people confuse us and think the name of our brand is Colin. It's actually our first connection. Okay. We're the Black Bar Gang. And the idea originated from the very idea, just like most people. But what's unique about this idea is it was inspired by a mediocre chess player. This chess player was on a journey to master the game of chess. Okay. He was sitting down for the very first time. The first thing he discovered was whoever had the white pieces moved first. Consequently, put the black pieces in defensive position. Symbolic to slavery here in this country, right? The second thing he discovered is that all the pieces, the king, the queen, the bishop, the knight, the castle, the pawn, presumably it's the weakest piece. But it's the only piece, the only piece that can elevate to be any other piece on the board, excluding the king. The queen being the most dangerous and impactful piece on the board. So we decided to present you with the black pawn game. We were going to put it on paper at first, and we said, why not? We put it on clothes. We got all our brothers and sisters going around wearing things that doesn't identify who they are. Why not get in the industry and teach people who they are through clothing? So we're the black pawn game. On the word color as it's defined in the dictionary. Yes, the black pawn game. Leaving on the word color as it's defined in the dictionary. This is our winter collection. This is our fall collection. For those pieces are over to the, the side of the side. But this is our spring collection. And we wanted to do something very special for Easter. So we got all the egg colors. And uh, that color. It's cute. And it's green. It it's not winter. It's a very quality. And I'll be straightforward with you. We're not a cheap brand. We're high end side. Because we can beat with Gucci. Products, et cetera, et cetera. But I can tell you it's worth every dime. We don't consider our transaction purchases, they're called pledges. On every box, because your stuff come in a box, we release another stuff and stuff the message. Let me tell you, let me show you our latest addition. She got the fish bowl. Oh, it's not. 
Especially you gotta melon. mix it up. It's like a melon sour, like Swisher, like uh, uh, no. it's very flavorful. It's sweet, but yes. Like, I was not feeling it today. <laughs> I ain't been feeling it for the last few days. I just been so, like, uptight and stressed. And it's like, I just needed to get out the freaking house and do something that, I don't know. Like, I'm it's not, I'm not used to going to pop-up shops that I'm not a part of. Because <laughs> I'm always in a freaking pop-up shop if I'm there. 
But it was just nice to not have to have no responsibility and just go and just enjoy yourself. Walk around. And meet other people. Yeah. Some people I've seen before. It was one girl, I'm friends with her on Instagram. And I'm like, I didn't even know it was her until I looked at like her signature on the bottom of the painting. Everybody was really cool. <laughs> Everybody was so nice. It, like, Yeah, it, it, it was true to the name. It was, it's a vibe. It's a, a vibe. Pop -up, and it was a good vibe it today. It's a vibe. Yes, it was. Shout out to Maya Prince. I definitely have to join the next one. I try not to go too far out of Towson because the, the last one we did, it was far. Yeah, was I wasn't good. a vendor, it was but good. it was nice. Like she had speakers, the attorney lady. I feel like not attorney lady. That's not her freaking name. I'm gonna add her name but when I rewatch it. But I, I really like seeing people like that because it's really hard to protect your artwork. Extremely hard. It's very, very hard. So, Copy and she right. had um, a poet. What's his name? Backpack Jack? Mm -hmm. Something like no. that. Was it Jack? I Backpack? I think it's back. You're gonna tag him too. I'm gonna tag. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was another lady. She had like an event space. Mm -hmm. Definitely gonna keep that in mind because I want to have my own, like my own fashion show event. Um, we met so many cool people like oh my god i can't wait to look at the footage it's gonna be a lot i, I didn't kill the battery already this is my second battery we in the city so you already know what that is what's her name again yes it angels of sin yeah <laughs> I like stuff like that. She had all the vibes. She was the one dancing. She the only one that knew the damn line dance. That's that's my bartender. Period. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for my 30th birthday vlog because that's gonna be nuts. All right, we on our way to Ali's if you care. Stay tuned. <laughs> Not as exciting as a pop-up shop, but you know. It's exciting for me. Right, you know household. Shopping is never bad. I hate shopping. Anyway, <laughs> bye. See, I mean, not bye, but like if you want to stay. See you later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>